Hi, my name is Shivel Bhartia. I'm a consultant in the glaucoma services at the I7 group of hospitals in New Delhi, India. I'm an SLT user for the last two years. Uh, compliance is the biggest reason why SLT becomes my first choice, why it is the primary therapy that I would offer to my patients. The other reason is the fact that years of uh, ocular surface disease compromises very, very much your surgical results. So if you are looking at even a couple of drug-free years that you can offer to your patient by giving, doing an SLT, I think it makes a lot of sense. Health economics is another reason why I would be looking at SLT as my first choice. Quality of life concerns, I don't know how many of us, if we were condemned to a lifetime of using drops every day for the rest of our lives, would be happy doing it. Uh, which is why, and, and as an adjunct also in cases of surgical failure, of course with patients where blebs have failed because of ocular surface disease, SLT is, reason, is perhaps the first thing to do, rather than bombard the conjunctiva which is already damaged with more BAK and, and the medication per se, which has enough toxicity of its own. So that's SLTY as a primary procedure. No, I do not offer SLT to all of my patients. Uh, patients who are obviously very young do not get it. No juvenile open angle glaucoma, no secondary glaucomas, no narrow angles. But you have, uh, and also not advanced OAGs. So if I'm looking at a patient in whom I would consider a primary surgery, where I would need a larger drop in intraocular pressure, say more than a 30 or a 40 percent, I would perhaps not think of it in an advanced glaucoma. No, not all patients, but about... That would constitute about 80% of your practice where you can actually think of SLT as an option. Explaining SLT to patients is actually quite easy. Um, our friends who do LASIK have made it very, very simple for the rest of us. Lasers are known to be the biggest thing that's happened to ophthalmology. Most of our patients are extremely uh, appreciative and accepting of the fact that lasers work. So what I tend to do is usually say that uh, the angle of the eye is like a drain and what, uh, what SLT does for you is change the pore size of the drain. So your drainage angle becomes better. I also make it a point to explain to each of my patients each time that this is not a cure. What we are doing is temporizing your treatment. You will eventually need either medication or surgery or a repeat of the procedure. And that it will work in about 70% of the cases. Not everyone is going to, uh, to get better with this. And that the most common complication of SLT is the fact that it will not work. You're not looking at a side effects profile which is extremely damaging, but you are running a 30% risk of getting a procedure done which will do nothing for you. Yes, I've changed my opinion very, very radically since I started the SLT. I actually came from the school of thought that, thought that uh, believed that SLT was no different from ALT, except that it was easier. But uh, now, of course, yes, I do believe very much that SLT works, and it works in pigmented eyes as well. I have had the opportunity to work in Indian eyes, which are just as heavily pigmented as any other. And I've also had the privilege to work in the south of Egypt in a, in a University of Geneva initiative at Komombo in Asfan. And we have had very, very good results. It's obviously uh, not been analyzed very much. But we have to understand that as physicians and, and, and caregivers, we tend to remember our uh, failures more than our successes. So if you're looking at a, success, uh, at a lot of failures in your SLT practice, I would recommend you go back to your patient files, see how many of it is imagined, and see how much of it is actually working for you. SLT in the future, given a chance, I don't see why not. SLT may not be the answer, the def definitive answer for glaucoma, but is it a front runner in the race for finding an, a solution? Yes, it is. Perhaps the panacea will be something else, which may not be medication or surgery or this particular laser. But as of now, the available uh, modalities that we are considering, yes, SLT is safe. It seems to work. It's easy. For someone who's, uh, who's starting off in glaucoma, it's... Uh, very easy to learn. I mean, the only skills you need to be good at are gonioscopy and perhaps a little experience with video games and your home. Um, so as far as the learning curve is concerned, it's, it's practically flat. You do two supervised and the third is yours. So yes, why not? And especially for developing countries, people with poor access to healthcare facilities, where economics, to the commu as far as the economic burden of the disease is concerned, is an important consideration. SLT seems the way to go.